The layout of our shop is defined. Um, we have a nice header graphic and next we want to care for the colors of our shop. To do so, um, in the navigation click on colors and fonts. And you can see if you scroll down a little bit here are a lot of options for defining colors um, for everything what um, depends on your text and for the background colors. To every field you have a color selector here where you can define which color the field should have. And if you want to know where these fields are in your shop, you can click on these images over here. And you can see number 5 is for, um, what is it, the tab background, for example. What we can use here are the predefined designs of Spreadshirt. So our shop is going to be very dark. So let's choose black and it's going to load in all new color options. Now if we save this and reload our shop, you can see the style of our shop has completely changed. Now it's very dark, we have a nice dark um, header, we have a very dark flat background and we want to take some more options to customize our colors. So if we take at our template we created, um, we have the, the header over here which is a bit more beige uh, brownish color. So let's define this first. Let's have a look at the image again which defines um, the colors of our shop. So if you take a look at the header we just did, we, um, we see the 5 and the 5 is for the tab background, inactive. So let's go over there and um, go to the colors section. Let's go to tab background inactive and let's make it a little more brownish beige style. So let's go a little more to yellow and pick something dark over here. So this could be fine. Okay. And the um, the headlines of our of our articles um, is in a is in a pink Bordeaux color. So let's see what this is. Let's take a look at the images. And it's number two. This is heading two. So heading two. Let's give this a pink to red dark color. So this could be fine already, okay? Let's save this. Let's reload our shop. And this looks very nice. Next we want, to, uh, we want to change our background. And for this I also created a graphic. Let's go back to colors and fonts. Here you could choose a background image with the drop down, but um, for now there's nothing in here but our header graphic. So we have to go to the graphics section and we can upload graphics here. So let's choose the background graphic from our hard disk. And let's confirm that we don't hurt anyone with uploading this graphic. So graphic was uploaded. Let's go back to colors and fonts and now you can choose the um, background graphic in here. Let's save it. Let's reload our shop. And this looks very fine. So we created the layout um, we wanted to have. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have any questions or whatsoever go to the Spreadshirt forums or post a question um, to YouTube. I'm gonna try to answer it. Um, I would be very lucky if you join me again in workshop number two where we start using with HTML and CSS. And see you next time. Bye bye.